Ann Arbor is a beautiful place to visit any time of the year, but uh, of course, uh, during the summertime, we have some special events happening, and we're going to learn all about them, aren't we, George? We are. We're going to learn about the Ann Arbor Art Fair, which is really for for art fairs, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, Hmm. And we have with us Maureen Riley, the executive director of the Ann Arbor Street Art Fair, the original, uh, to tell us all about it. And Maureen, I guess maybe we should start with that, the the four-in-one fair concept. Hi, guys. Yep. We are four fairs, one event. Um, Most people don't realize that it's four fairs, and that's okay. We don't necessarily expect you to. We just want you to come and enjoy Ann Arbor. But um, there are four individually produced fairs. Okay, and what what distinguishes them from one another? Well, the Street Art Fair is the original, started in 1953. And we, at that point, were on the South University area uh, district, And the merchants, in an effort to help boost sidewalk sales, had the idea of bringing artists in and helping uh, support uh, the merchants. And that's how it started. It was so successful that the State Street merchants uh, got on board and produced their own fair. Thus, there became two. At that time, it was, I believe, 1970, the university had an arts and crafts guild, and they wanted to get involved, so that became the section that is now called the Summer Art Fair, produced by the Guild of Artists and Artisans. So then there were three, (laughs) and uh, in the uh, early part of the, the 2000s, the street fair moved to a new site, in the University of Michigan Central Campus area in Ingalls Mall. And that left the South University Area Association in, uh, the, with the ability to produce their own fair. So there were now four, and that's where we are today. And they're all taking place at the same time? They are. They all touch each other. The hours are, are all the same. Okay. I mean, we really it really is one event. It's just that the four fairs have their own unique little flavor. Gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, so many, I'm sure many visitors who have been to the fair aren't even aware of this, right? They, oh, probably most aren't, probably actually. Mo- probably yeah. most. Well, we've we've certainly let that cat out of the bag now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, but people do know, you know, they have certain areas that they like to go to for the ambiance or, or the kind of um, art that they like to buy. So they know, oh, I'm going to head over to Main Street, or I'm going to head over to the Ingalls Mall, or I'm going to head to South University. Right. So it's all a matter of... Um, whether you want to just wander through the event and discover the unique characteristics of all four fairs or whether you have a target in mind. Yep. Well, now you guys obviously attract huge numbers um, and and have for years, but for those few people who might be listening who have never been, so talk about kind of the range of uh, what's on display there. Well, part of what makes Ann Arbor so unique and so successful for all of these years is that there is a plethora of choices. Yes. Um, Not only do you have the opportunity to purchase great art, and it can be from the very low end to the very high end, um, you can come and experience Ann Arbor. Um, Ann Arbor is a great cultural uh, destination in itself. We've got wonderful shops and restaurants and uh, the the and the atmosphere in Ann Arbor is uh, its own, just just in itself. So you add a thousand artists to that in the street, yep. and you've got an amazing time. Well, and David, you know, we've talked about this uh, relevant to the art fair and just in general. I mean, Ann Arbor is such a great destination mm-hmm. city, anyway. Like yeah. you say, mm-hmm. uh, given what's going on there with the restaurant scene, which is fabulous, the music scene, which is fabulous. Uh, all the shops and the retail that's going on, and then, like you say, add all this art on top of that in the street, and there you go. Right. Well, you know, uh, Maureen, we're looking at the map of the city that you have available at your website, which, by the way, is theannarborartfair.com, and, um, boy, it looks pretty overwhelming, but because of all these things happening all at once, and it's over such a big area, but you've kind of kind of laid it out in a way where people can kind of follow a, almost a, a, a direction, if you want, to, to get everything in. Um, I mean, do you have any, like, suggestions on where people might want to start and, and how they kind of navigate through the city? Well, first let me tell you that there's a, we've got an aid out there that is going to help you figure out how you want to go. And that's the iPhone app. 
you can go in and you can search for an artist. You can search a path and you can mark your favorites and you can plan your destination all by using our iPhone app. That's, that's pretty cool. We're excited about that. That's great. And the other uh, thing that is uh, available to aid in your uh, uh, wayfinding is our trolley. We have an art fair trolley. Mm. And if you uh, are getting a little uh, overwhelmed by walking the fair on foot, you can just hop on our air-conditioned trolleys that they have two stops in each of the fairs and take that to your next destination. Well, Maureen, you mentioned the um, the fact that there's, you know, a thousand, roughly a thousand artists there. So uh, given that many, it, it, there probably is not a, a particular genre or a specialty, but I mean, are there particular types of art that is, is kind of more prevalent at this fair than others? Or No, not really. We have um, all of the traditional mediums represented. We've got painting and ceramics and jewelry and printmaking and fiber. Um, what you find in uh, pretty much any art fair, we just have more of it. And we have a huge variety because there are a thousand artists. You can, um, like I, I think I mentioned earlier, you can find art at any price point, be it low end or be it high end. And that's part of what I really think has helped the Ann Arbor Art Fair last and endure and become a, such a tradition for people, because you might want to go and spend a large sum of money on a painting for your house, and you can do that, or you may want to buy um, uh, Christmas presents for your coworkers or your nieces and nephews, or you might want to take advantage of the sidewalk sales, and there are plenty of those. You can go, you can buy, uh, you know, sunglasses and flip flops, and mm. Urban Outfitters yes. has a huge um, outdoor sidewalk sale. Um, Bivouac is out on the street. It's all of those kind of things that make the overall event what it is. Well, uh, Maureen, um, you know, as I kind of look over, again, this map, and I see all these, you know, locations where the artists are going to be displaying out of doors, I'm just wondering, with all of your art galleries that are normally, you know, that are always in Ann Arbor, um, are those galleries open for business that day, or do they kind of empty out their stores and put them out in the streets and... Uh, well, or is it kind of a combination? You go in and out, and you go all around. It's exactly a combination. A lot depends on where the store or gallery is located. If they are on the footprint of the art fair, um, there's a good chance that they're going to be outside, too. If they're not, they may or may not be open. It's their choice. Um, you know, it really makes for an eclectic experience. Well, and for people who might have never been here before during this big art show, uh, it's a great opportunity to really get up and close and personal and really talk to the artists. I, I find that most interesting myself, and just meeting the artist, getting an idea of what their, um, you know, their their idea was behind that piece of art, what what influenced them to to make that piece. And it, it makes it a, a more enriching experience for me as I'm uh, considering purchasing the art. And that's exactly what art fairs offer. It's the only place, unless you go to the opening and you happen to run into the artist, it's the only place that you're going to have a one-on-one -on -one experience with the person making the work that you're going to purchase. And that, that is so much more rewarding than buying from a stranger or buying... Um, a piece that was manufactured overseas. I mean, you yeah. really know the thought and the creative process and the work that goes into the piece. Really brings it brings it back home, makes it more interesting. Well, Maureen, thank you so much. Maureen Riley, Executive Director of the Ann Arbor Street Fair. And if you'd like more information, all you have to do is go to the website, the Ann Arbor Art Fair. Com. That's all the time we have for this week's program of Travel Michigan. Hope you can join us next week as well right here on Travel Michigan, where your trip begins at Michigan.org.